Roborock's latest vacuum does something no other vacuum has done before. It can pick up the socks you leave on the floor. And it puts the sock where you want it. So this is Roborock's Soros Z70. It's scheduled to come out early this year. Uh, it's already in production and it's very advanced with AI, just like some of the current models, except what's different is that there's no little tower on top. Uh, instead, it's getting all of its uh, information through these cameras here to detect various objects, over a hundred different objects it can detect. But right now it's programmed for the arm to pick up just a few objects. And over time, the company's gonna be sending out updates so it'll be able to pick out other kinds of objects as well. Socks are just one of the first objects that it is smart enough to pick up. And it obviously knows different kinds of socks and how they might be crumpled in your home. Uh, I just put it to the test by trying my own, but we even threw in a beanie hat on the floor and it picked it up. So it is something that is detecting certain types of fabrics. Uh, small towels are one of the first things it can also pick up. And you're telling it on the app where you want the drop off location to be when it does come in contact with that. But eventually it's gonna be smart enough to do different things in the home. Like say you have cat toys laying around. Uh, you'll be able to do things like take a picture of the item and teach the robot what that object is and have it do certain things depending on what it is. So here are a few facts about this machine. Uh, the arm itself isn't gonna pick up anything too heavy. It can handle 300 grams which is a little more than half a pound. There's also some safety features. There's child locks. There's a button right here to stop it if you wanna stop whatever it's doing. The design here is also pretty unique. Unlike other Roborock models, you notice there's no little LiDAR tower in the middle here. Uh, all the sensors are just baked into the front. So that means it can get under that furniture easier. If you're familiar with Roborock, it already is packed with a lot of tech and they have these base stations here that do the wet and dry and it self cleans and it self empties itself. But now it just gives you an extra hand around the house. Roborock isn't saying how much this is gonna cost yet, but if you're curious what the other robot vacuums go for, they can be up to $1,500 and they don't have arms like this. So we'll have to wait till early 2025 to find out more. This is just a prototype I'm seeing here, so we'll see where this goes. Uh, stay tuned for more coverage of CES 2025. Thanks for watching.